PlayStation fans! Today we're looking at the evolution of J.R.R. Tolkien's Middle Earth, from the PS2 through to future titles on the PS5. Many of the games in this video have either a novel or movie license. If a game has a movie license, then only things specifically mentioned or depicted in Peter Jackson's films can be represented in the game. So if, for example, the game so much as even mentions Tom Bombadil, then the developers are getting sued. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. This game was based off of the 1954 novel and, oddly enough, was released several weeks before Peter Jackson's The Two Towers. Despite receiving mixed reviews, it was a financial success, probably due to the lack of any other Lord of the Rings games. Ah, there's that cash cow we ordered. This game was based off of the first two Peter Jackson films and has nothing to do with the previous game. It was an extremely fun action hack and slash. This game was based off of the last two Peter Jackson films, starting at Helm's Deep and ending with Frodo fighting Gollum at the edge of the precipice. Based off of the books, this game was released a mere 8 days after the previous title. A very average game that, surprisingly, has one of the best soundtracks on the PS2. What a waste. A turn-based RPG with a parallel narrative to the events of the film trilogy. As if Final Fantasy X and Peter Jackson had a baby. Take cover! Archers in the ruins! Archers! Derived from the film trilogy, this game borrowed many gameplay mechanics from the Star Wars Battlefront series, which was also created by Pandemic Studios. However, unlike the Battlefront series, this game was absolutely crap. Only Aragorn could hope to stand his ground against such a fearsome foe. Samwise Gamgee tells his children about the adventures of Aragorn, across Peter Jackson's movie trilogy. Interestingly, this title was also released on the PS2, despite the PS3 having been released over four years prior. It got terrible reviews on the PS2, so probably a bad call. This was the first game to be based off of both the movies and the novel. This is because Warner Brothers Games acquired the rights for both intellectual properties. Despite good reviews, the game was a massive commercial flop. This is what happens when you release a game 10 days before The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. A multiplayer online battle arena video game. A highly spoofed take on the Peter Jackson film trilogy. The first two films of the Hobbit film trilogy also got the Lego spoof treatment. The third was meant to be added through DLC, but was cancelled. Probably due to a lack of interest after people actually saw the film. An action-adventure game set in between the events of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings film trilogies. This title marked the biggest launch for a game based upon Tolkien's universe, and sold nearly 3 million copies on the PS4 alone. It's time! A continuation of the previous title that received positive reviews although nowhere near the level of its predecessor. Pick three heroes from the most emblematic characters of Middle-earth. A digital version of the popular card game based off of The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings novels. And so we reach the end. 
for now. As far as we know, there are three games currently in development based in Tolkien's Middle-earth. The Lord of the Rings Gollum is an upcoming action-adventure game based off of the novels. Then there's an untitled open-world game from the creators of the Middle-earth series. And finally, there's an MMORPG in development set long before the novels that will feature brand new lands, people and creatures. What are your favourite games set in Tolkien's Middle-earth? And how bloody awesome was the Two Towers on the PS2? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching. It's a long way. I have to touch me. Mm. Hmm. Don't tell the elf. Not a word. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers. Frodo, keep away from them. Help! They're everywhere!